Hey guys, it's Jack and Patrick back from Mercedes-Benz Burlington. Thank you so much for following along on our channel. Today we've got something special. Jack, we've got the 2024 GLE 450 Coupe. Yes. Or coupe. Do you say do you say coupe or do you say coupe? I'm I'm like the French. I call it a coupe. Oh, sounds, fancy. Sounds fancy. Put a little mustard on that. <laughs> yeah. You know it's funny because yeah, so I say coupe just because I'm trying to like I guess normalize it, but it's the, I'm technically saying it wrong because yeah. it is coupe. But um, the yeah, real, I, let me ask you a real question though. What when a client comes in and you you know they say hey I like that that look. Yeah. It's a coupe. What? How do you explain it? Okay, so I'm glad you asked that. Yeah. Mercedes-Benz specifically as a brand, they have a few coupes that are a little bit confusing for clients. One of them being the four-door coupe, which we did a video explaining what a four-door coupe is, and they have the SUV coupes. Yep. Now, an SUV, how could that be a coupe? Does that mean two-door? Essentially, it's a sport back design of a regular SUV. A yes. lot of different brands have followed suit and done something similar where they have an SUV and a sport back of the same SUV. So for us, we have that in the GLC, we have that in the GLE. Something that's interesting about the GLE that I like, that's added value, especially for this specific model, is that you can only get the coupe in a non-AMG in the 450. Yep. So 53 and 63 GLEs you can get in the SUV or the coupe, but if you're looking for this type of sportback design without the price tag of a full AMG, you have to get the 450. It does not come in a 350. So my understanding is obviously the 350 is in the SUV, yep. which is a four cylinder with a hybrid assist, the EQ boost. That's right. And then the 450, what does that mean? So when someone tells me I'm looking for that, what, what do you The biggest say? difference between the 350 and the 450 is the engine, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going from a four cylinder to a six. A lot of people with a size vehicle that the GLE is, they want a six. Do you need a six? Not necessarily. Uh -huh. I would recommend a six to anybody who's towing something. So if you're towing, I would say definitely a six. I don't know about you, but I think that yep. just adds a little bit more power. I agree. Um, but it's not necessary. Um, that being said, a lot of people just like the comfort and the pickup of that engine. I'd say it's probably more popular than the 350 for that reason. But the 350 does carry its weight because, again, of the price tag. So, you know, you can save some money, yep. have all the luxury and all the comfort of a GLE with a smaller engine versus that price tag of going up to the 450. The 450 SUV and Coupe are very similarly priced because yep. you can package them very similar. Correct. Um, but that's added value for me, as I think. And I don't know if you know, there's a lot of new changes for 2024. Yes, I do know that. Yep. So walk us through some of the changes. This one is the Alpine Gray, my new favorite color. <clears throat> I love it. I think I'll probably overdo it because I keep saying Alpine Gray. I keep showing it on different cars, but um, what do you think of the spec? I love the spec. Uh, there's a lot of changes in the packages that we have now. Yep. So uh, instead of calling it premium, premium plus and all that, uh, what we do have is called the exclusive trim. Yep. There's also the pinnacle trim. Pinnacle trim. I love that verb. Correct. Pinnacle. It just sounds cool. Pinnacle sounds cool. It's a, it's a essentially a fully loaded option. Yeah. A lot of stuff listed through. There's also new naming of the sports package, night package. Yeah. Now it's called the AMG line and AMG line with night. Yes. So this particular spec. What we do have is the AMG line with night. Yeah. The, the dead giveaway would be the black specs, the blacked out chrome that you see here, especially on the grill as well. Yeah. And one thing to note is the change in the actual star grill. Yeah, I love the little stars in the grill versus the diamond style we used Correct. to have, which I did like as well, but it's just the kind of added, Mercedes is famous for doing that with little, there's little hidden Mercedes Benz stars all over the yep. vehicle. It's almost like aspects. an Easter egg. That's right, that's right. All over the vehicle, yes. inside the headlights, in the rims, in the back, in the front. Um, I do like the night package on off black cars, but there's no right answer for a night package. Because a lot of people that have a full black car, they want to black out all the extra accents. Yep. For me, I like seeing the contrast when it's not a black car. Because for example, with this one, it's a nice light gray. You can see the black around the windows. You can see the black mirror caps, the inseams of the rims, the front and the back grills. And it matches kind of that glossy black roof with the uh, panoramic roof. So I do like the night package on all my cars. Um, I think you do too. Oh, absolutely. It's one yeah. of my favorites, right? Uh, another thing to mention about the package as well, there's no longer intelligent drive package. It's called the Advanced Driver's Assist. Okay. So that's essentially the same thing, but it's a couple of new upgrades to that. Nice. And there is also some small other package in terms of like uh, the running boards you can add, as you mentioned. Yeah, standalone options. Standalone option, I apologize. Similar. Yeah. Yep. So we got, the, we got the running boards on it, which I think are on a lot of the GLEs, just because a lot of people have children getting in and out of the back. Um, and it, it's a little bit more seamless. On the GLC, you don't see it as much just because it stands out a little bit more and you're lower to the ground. Correct. On the GLE, it's added value and I think a lot of people do like having it on there. You did mention about uh, the, the black cars as well. So yeah. black, white, silver, grays, that's all there. Beautiful. There is a new color called Sodalite Blue. Yep. We also have the, uh, the 
cult classic, I would say, is the Hyacinth Red. Yeah. Yep. And something called Emerald Green, which I highly suggest you take a look at it, because at nighttime, it looks black. In the day, it has a jade kind of... Yeah, Emerald Green is probably the most famous paint for nobody wanting to order it. But yes. every time there's one in the showroom, people are like, what is that paint? Yep. And why have I not heard about it? Yes. But you need to see it in person. You need to see you it do. when the sun hits it. It's a very vibrant color. Um, but again, it's muted because at night, yeah, it just looks like a regular black. So good options to choose from. Let's take a quick look at the back and then let's hop inside because this has an interior that you don't get to see all the time, which I love. So let's take a look. You know, Patty, being a family man, a lot of clients ask me, is the coupe usable? Yeah. And the answer is yes, absolutely it is. Definitely. So I've used it for the weekends. I took it for test drives. We had the luxury, you know, working here. Yeah. Uh, I threw in some uh, diaper bags, I, uh, strollers, um, uh, groceries, everything, and it, and it works beautiful. Okay, disclaimer, you don't have to put diaper bags. You can <laughs> put a gym bag, you know, sports Start, equipment, yeah. other things in there too. Um, but no, like you said, all jokes aside, it is very usable still. A lot of people kind of come in and they're like, I don't know, because yes, you do get a little bit higher of a point Correct. for the entry. So you lose a little bit of trunk space, a little bit higher up to get that coupe design because the rear bumper is a lot more aggressive than on the regular SUV. A little bit more slammed it in, but when you have the big um, tailgate still, you can mm -hmm. drop everything nice and deep in so you can actually get all the way in there and all the seats still fold down. Something else that's different with the coupe or coupe um, instead of the SUV is you don't have a pull tunnel cover because yes. it's not a straight box where they just have more of a material. It's a little bit more of a solid tunnel cover. So why that's nice is it's easy to use like this, but what's also cool is it's very solid. So sometimes I keep things that are a little bit more delicate on the top. Except. I don't know if that's recommended, but that's just a, that's just a patron <laughs> so <that> recommendation. <laughs> um, but I do that too. And then of course, like all of our tunnel covers, it pops out as well. So you can actually pull this physically all the way out of the vehicle if you just want that full back seat. So it does give you still a natural SUV uh, cargo capacity. Very but cool. looking through here, you're starting to see what I wanted to show you. So a couple of new interiors, right? Lots of new interiors. Yep. What we do have is, uh, what you're seeing is called the Bahia Brown. There's a new one called Catalina Beige. I want to see that one, man. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that in person yet. In, in pictures, is gorgeous. And of course, you have your black, your ma macchiato, and then your favorite Nava Gray with the black side. So let's Nava Gray inserts. Let's look at a little bit more on the inside, but you want to take it for a quick spin? We might as well. Might as well. It's a nice day. It's sunny. Let's go. So Patty, what do you think of the interior? I love this interior. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit richer. This is the Bahia Brown, right? This is the Bahia Brown. Yep. Also, also offered in black. Yep. And we do have uh, other variants and choices to colors. Obviously, you know, we have the Nava Gray with the black in the, in, sorry, uh, gray in the center, black on the sides. Yep. And if I'm not mistaken, I think red pepper might be an option. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. It's now on the 450. Something that's really cool about the 450, I think we mentioned earlier, but the engine. So. You're still in the six cylinder. However, yeah. this is the only configuration that's not an AMG, right? So you can do in the uh, Kajili Coupe, you can only do 450, 53, Three, or 63. 63, yep. So there is a 350 option, there is a hybrid option, but both of those models are not available in the coupe design. So if you're looking for something that gives you the comfort of the standard GLE without all the sport stuff, mm -hmm. but you still want the sport look, yep. that is a lot of the feedback we get when it comes to the GLE 450 coupe. What, what I like about it is, you know, exactly what you said, if I'm driving a 53, yes, it's sporty, it's not the too aggressive, but the 63, that's the best of the best in terms of like zero to 60 time and horsepower. Yeah. And if I'm someone who likes a look, but I want something comfortable, which is I, you know, I feel is Mercedes comfortable and luxury sport. Yeah. This is this is the perfect package. Yeah, I agree. I think that it answers a lot of questions, and it's always been a popular model. They definitely do less numbers than the standard GLE because of the trunk space. But honestly, the cargo capacity in here is great. Cargo space is amazing. I actually took it out uh, as a demo for a couple couple days to try it out. Yeah. I had my kids in the car. I put in strollers. I, backpack, bags, everything that you can think of, and it fit perfectly well. Yeah. I also sat in the back, when, you know, earlier when you were sitting down, mm -hmm. what, how tall are you? Six foot even. Six foot even, perfect. So I'm like five, I'm a tall five seven. Five, seven. Five, seven. And I actually sat behind you perfectly fine. Yeah, there's actually a lot of leg room, and I think that's probably the most, one of the most surprising for a lot of clients, I'd say. Especially in, the, in, in this type of 
the new the GLE, right? Yeah, like yeah. a lot of people sit there. They're like, yeah, I have a you know a similar you know one of the competitors um, in a full size SUV, but we have a lot of legroom in that middle. Um, I believe it's because a lot of the SUVs have the configuration of the seven seat option. So when you have that, you need that middle row to be adjustable forward so that yeah. you have a little bit more leg space. But what that gives you, if if you don't have the third row configuration or you don't have the third row up then you have tons of middle space right? yeah so oh yeah the legroom in the back is very impressive and i think it's probably the largest legroom in its class i know that the sunroof is on the regular suv as well well can i ask you a question are they, are they really called competitors if we do it better than them <laughs> <laughs> we got him we got him not uh, saying who though i'm not saying who <laughs> i mean i am everybody everybody <laughs> No, we're just joking. I, it, exactly, what? exactly what you said though. Like, it, the sunroof is bigger. Yeah. You have better leg room. Yeah. And the most important thing is obviously the the head room too, because you know I have my kids with the car seats, and as a parent, when you kind of take them in and out, you, you I don't know your experiences when you try to get them out, you kind of have to bend them and kind of fold them like a pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't experienced that, but you know it is important. Um, and where I relate to a lot of clients with uh, children is honestly just safety, because safety is important yes. regardless of who's in your vehicle, right? Um, and the GLEs with the two, uh, 2024 models, they've just facelifted kind of the software and some of the safety features. Mm -hmm. Right now, I have the speed limit warning. Uh, blinking at me so that's we're in a 50 zone oh so good it's actually scanning for speed limit and it will actually give you an audible warning if you like or just a visual warning if you're going over that speed limit right so i'm now under 50 but i just went over to about 55 and it starts blinking at oh, you just so you're aware yeah, yeah. of what the speed limit actually is in the area so it's always watching and monitoring your driving with different safety features and you can dress them up or dress them down depending on what you want if you want it to flash and beep at you with every little mistake you make you know if you're more of a sensitive driver those types of things are important right so you know, it's it's comfortable, but it's a good family vehicle. It's mm -hmm. a good personal vehicle. It's a good vehicle if it's just you and your partner. Um, you know, even if it's just you and a pet, it does have a lot of safety features oh, that sure. make it comfortable for everybody to ride. You know, something that a lot of our clients actually, funnily enough, mentioned to us, we're animal people. We love dogs. We love cats. Uh, I love cats. I don't know if you like cats. You probably know. I do, actually. I don't okay. like cats at all. Yeah, I, yeah, I do like cats, yeah. Um, but it's funny because, like, you have to find a comfortable and quiet car if you have a young baby. Yep it's important a lot of pets are sensitive to noisy vehicles as well that's so, true so you know having a smooth vehicle is actually great if you have a dog or a cat and you like to travel with them or drive them around do you know what makes this vehicle so smooth what the 48 volt battery the mild hybrid you're right you're right so not new for the gle 450 but it is new for some of our models and i think yep. it's going to be the new language um to kind of make everything that mercedes-benz offers a mild hybrid right correct so we have plug-in hybrid options, we have full EV option, but yep. that makes everything else kind of your mild hybrid, which is good. It's usable power. You, It definitely makes the vehicle smoother, like you said. Yes. I can feel it on all the cars. On the GLE, it's not as noticeable. Like when we're driving this, it's already smooth and quiet. Oh, for sure. It definitely still elevates the drive, but on some of the smaller models too, it really elevates the drive and the comfort, right? And I love what you keep saying, elevate, you know, is you, when you look at our screen, you know, look at the software, the elevated experience. Yeah. Right, they made it a little bit newer, uh, still familiar yeah. with what, what we know. Uh, trackpad, everything is there, which I still kind of like the trackpad because of the length of the car. Yeah, I right? say to people all the time, they laugh, but I always say, I say there's four ways to do the same thing with Mercedes, but I'd rather have four <laughs> ways to do the same thing than no ways or one. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree so, with that. You know, you can still use voice. You can still, you know, summon Mercedes and speak through your voice to do different controls. You have full touchscreen capability. You have the trackpad, like you mentioned, and you've got a control on the steering wheel and all of those um, control the same screen. On the screen, you've got your navigation, mm -hmm. you've got your vehicle control settings, right. your telephone settings. Everything is hands-free or touch if you like it. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's a great car. You know, that. it's it's one of those things that we always say: come on in, take a look, experience for yourself. Yep. And one thing that I I just noted, if you heard me earlier, I was playing with the climate control. Yeah. Did you feel that tactile click? Like it's yeah. very it's there yeah. and it's a solid piece. It, it sounds good. Yeah. And, you know it. Its function is good too. I don't like when you you're hitting buttons and you, and it's delayed or it's not working. With these, it's every degree that you change it. So 20, 20. Now we're at twenty five point five. You go up another. And I notice ambient lighting changing too. Yeah, cool. And it, and again, we I, we haven't mentioned that in a little while, but we still have the ambient lighting. And there's you know I think the the least amount of colors you can get with ambient lighting now is sixty four. Sixty four different colors. Crazy. I believe there's ten different types of shades or different settings you can play with. It's one of those things too, if you can come at nighttime, 
because a, a lot of people really can you really can see at night yeah. and then these LED high performance lights that we have you, it, it's phenomenal and we have these cool windy roads that you can always test them on too right yeah we're so used to driving doing test drives during the day but yeah when you're out at <laughs> night it's so cool seeing all the uh, cars come to light with you know the Mercedes Benz puddle lamps and displays on the oh, road yeah. and the AMG symbols on the road the lights and the welcoming systems the ambient light systems they really do a lot of cool lighting systems at Mercedes Benz you're right so, and yeah. uh, any anything in inventory Patrick do you know well, that is a very good thing. I'm glad you asked because, like I always say, we have inventory. So we have these on ground. We have a few uh, GLE 450 coupes. We've got 450 plug-in hybrids. We've got 350s. We've got 53s. We have all the GLEs on ground. The whole lineup. Our turnaround time for ordering has come down substantially. So it has. that's also fun because you can put something together completely custom like we spoke about earlier and um, get it pretty quickly. Absolutely. So get in touch with us for the Jack and Pat VIP delivery experience. We are happy to walk you from uh, point A to point C see all the way through you know a test drive an order something in stock just availabilities just quotes get in touch with us it's what we do we like to do it a lot and um you know we can bounce ideas off each other so you <laughs> we can get two for one when you deal with either of us which is nice too absolutely get in touch with us thank you so much for following along like subscribe and what else do you do on youtube watch uh, comment below and uh and give a thumbs up and yeah but i think you dm or something? Insta, Insta direct? Something. Insta direct, yeah. Okay. Venmo. Anyway. <laughs> Venmo. <laughs> Take care, guys.